Hello, and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits. We're outside again, it's too warm in the beer room. It's like 90 odd degrees, uh, you know. I'm just sweaty, man, I'm bloody drinking. So today I'm giving this fella Quillens, an Argentine, Argentina lager. First time drying it, and um, looking forward to it. So, let me pull it out first, then while it settles, I can uh, chat about it. And off. <clears throat> so gold pour, big chunky head. So while we're letting it settle down, yes, Quilms, Argentinian lager at its best. <clears throat> so it says here, Cervetsa Quilms. There's a light, malty, slightly honeyed note on the nose of this golden coloured beer, followed by a nice sense of mellow nuttiness. On the palate, it's, it has a broad, expansive character with a fruity, dry flavour and rich texture. First served in 1890, Quilms is the beer for all who enjoy the flavour of getting it together. Yeah. Getting it, getting together, sorry, not getting it together. That sounds a bit rude. It is the beer chosen by those who are family, who value family and friendship. Oh, fuck, you know. <clears throat> Wow, those who like to have fun and share. It's perfect balance of body. Softness and bitterness is what makes Quilms the beer of choice everywhere. With more and more people outside Argentina enjoying its refreshing and original flavour. Quilms is a classic log that reflects its brewing heritage, golden colour, rich texture, refreshing light, hoppy taste with a crisp dry finish. It is great to drink on its own but also makes a good food match with South American or Mediterranean cuisine. Bloody hell. Didn't know there's so much going on there. I thought it was just a lager. <coughs> so as you can see, you know, somebody loves their crumbs. Good on them, that's what I say. You know, it's good to love something in the world. I love to win the lottery and retire. That'd be nice. <laughs> so, golden poor, white head. And funnily enough, there is a smell of honey on the nose. Definitely getting a honey smell. Back to slight honey taste. Although I never really got on with Argentina after Diego Simeone dropped, fell to the floor with David Beckham. No wonder Athletic Madrid is such a dirty team. He, him and them are perfect for each other. Can you imagine if he comes to the Premiership? All the players would be jumping on the floor every time someone went near them. Oh, he just, he just killed me. <clears throat> I mean, I know football, there's a bit of, you know, but to me, they shouldn't, cheat. they shouldn't be jumping on the floor ever. You know, football should be football, played by people with skill. And, you know, and that's it. If you get outplayed by a team who don't cheat, then fair play. Too much of that cheating sh rubbish goes off. And hence why in the last World Cup, England did quite well out of it. Because one, we don't cheat, or very little. And two, the referees, with the, you know, the assistants, um, the assisted viewing, whatever it's called, I can't remember what it's called now. <clears throat> no, it's gone. Because of all the, and especially in the Columbia match, fucking hell, the cheating bastards they was. And yet, when the Columbians stopped cheating and started playing, they were flowing very dangerous. And you think to yourself, well, wouldn't it be an idea in the first place to um, not cheat, not do all that crap, and actually just play the football? There's an idea, isn't it? Because when they did actually play football, they were a handful for England. When they were cheating and falling to the floor and doing whatever they were doing, 
giving away free kicks and penalties. And, uh, you know, you, you think the mentality of it, you know, how stupid are they? I don't understand the mentality. Obviously, some cheats get away with it, but cheats don't always prosper. You know. I mean, I've watched Real Madrid and Barcelona over the years. Uh, you know, El Clasico. And uh, there was a time when Barcelona was such dirty, cheating buggers. And obviously, Real Madrid had Pepe. He was a cheat on his own. But most of the time, it was it was Barcelona doing it. And, uh, you know, you go liking a team to actually loathing Barcelona and thinking, no, I'm not, I don't support the team that cheats, sod that. <clears throat> so, very refreshing. That honey taste really does make it a very different lager. It's not full on honey, not like either who make honey lagers. But um, it's certainly interesting and uh, yeah, different. I wish you wonder if it's going to chuck down again, it's so dark and cloudy. But at least that temperature's dropped because it was boiling. All day in it, working in it, it just kills you. I've, uh, you got to the stage where you think, oh, for God's sake, let me just get out of work, get home. Rip all my clothes off and sit naked in the back garden. Well, the, the human body is not nice when it's naked. Even them with fantastic bodies aren't nice when they're naked. You know. <laughs> so I'm hoping this is the start of me uh, coming back to my uh, normal uh, self. Um, a bit of positivity uh, it's what makes the world go round isn't it you know I sometimes wonder if my brain's that flipping delicate these days and it's something you can't I have no control over what my brain's thinking so I need to go back to theme parks and start you know enjoying life and not worry too much about things Getting the job situation done first is the main thing. And uh, two clear options, and uh, you know, it's going to show up sooner or later which one option is going to be the better option. Um, and uh, I think the better option is the one I'm already thinking about. But the other option is a good option as well because I could probably get to work with my old mate again. Uh, which would be great for me because um, she keeps me in line. It's funny how working with a woman, bloody hell. On the phone all the time she is, isn't it? Yet, yeah, yeah. you know, great person. Who doesn't, doesn't mind telling me when I'm fucking being a prat to myself? And that I have to respect. I respect people who turn around to you and, you know, be honest with you and say, fucking hell, pat the stress in your twat. You know, I like that. I just need to tell the inner brain. So, got this from lowcostbeer.com. Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, I need to wrap up. Uh, spitting. Yeah, got it from lowcostbeer.com and uh, got to be honest with you, bang on. And they've got quite a few different sizes as well. And it is raining. Shit. That's put the kibosh on the review. Pleasant twang at the end as well. So, honey, both in the aroma and the taste. A uh, lot of malt, typical lager malt in a lot of it. But a unique taste and really nice actually. Really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, from low cost beer of selling it and selling it cheaper. So it's, it's worth a try. You know, you might as well. Argentinian beer. Oof. Um, out of five, then. Yeah, ah, look, you know, the aroma was nice, the taste was good. And, uh, yeah, it's gone down well. Then again, any beer would have been down well to that, oh, yeah. Fucking hell. I could drink a litre or something now. Especially if it's cold and refreshing. 
And that's it for this behaviour. Um, out of five then. For me, 4.2 out of five. Oh yeah. Really appreciate it. It's raining. Rain's gonna stop play. And that's it for this behaviour before my camera gets broke. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing. And uh, we're moving up ever so slowly, but we're moving up. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Cheers. I'm going wet. Bye.